Hola amigos y amigas. Javier here for Hum of the Earth, signing in from the beautiful town of Mongui in the department of Boyacá. I'm currently residing and enjoying. And today we have a very special episode, which according to the sign, we are going to the most beautiful hike in the world. The Paramo de Oseta. Which surprisingly, because Mongui, despite the fact that it is a pristinely preserved old colonial town in the Colombian Andes, it isn't yet a international tourist draw. So this hike, despite being allegedly one of the most beautiful in the world, is actually free. There's no entrance fee. So that's a nice bonus. Ooh. Just getting to the trailhead is a decent warm up here. So I'm sure uh, one of the conditions for it being the most beautiful hike in the world is visibility, which looks like we'll have for the majority of the hike, but once we start to really get up there, uh, I don't know if that's going to be uh, the case, but regardless, um, I know for a fact that there's some up, up close and personal surprises on this hike that even if it does get cloudy, will still make it memorable. This is the first school of Mongui here. A little hint of things to come.
So the woman asked me if I was going to go do the whole paramo. I said, of course. And then they made this crunchy face. Ooh. Which I guess is in relation to the fact that this is not a beginner hike. Even though there is clear paths, that part is easy. The distance and difficulty is not. We'll be going well over 3,000 meters, so well over 10,000 feet. So this wouldn't be the first thing you'd want to do if you're flying to Colombia. You would probably get pretty severe altitude sickness. And also, it's quite a long hike. Um, it's, I uh, forget how many kilometers it is, but I remember seeing that it was uh, to get there and back, depending on your level of fitness, it's anywhere between five and nine hours. And I'm not going to be on the short end of that today because there's alternating paths here where you can uh, check out some of the different attractions, the natural attractions in the, uh, in the Paramo here, which we'll be doing. Looks like we're going to get a touch of rain on our parade here today. But should be uh, short lived, hopefully. And I am mostly equipped, so it's not going to stop the fun. Wow, it's already getting beautiful. And I think it's going to get more so as we get deeper into the mountains here. certain that I'm going the right way given that I'm going up a creek here but um, GPS on my phone doesn't seem to be working so uh, I hope for the best here Yeah, this has been a pretty muddy trail. You uh, definitely wouldn't want to do this in flip-flops. Boots, quasi-mandatory here.
This might be the best hike in Boyaca by a landslide. Or at least next to one. Speaking of which, not entirely sure I took the official sanctioned tourist path here. But uh, we're gonna get there nonetheless. I believe that is where we're supposed to be going. And besides, I kind of like getting lost. Makes it a little bit more exciting. Like this path here. The mud is deeper than it looks. Well, at least now we're matching. Now we are getting somewhere. Wow. Pretty awesome. Starting to get a little less clear where the trail is or is going. But even though I have cold feet, there's no turning back. And we've made it over a mountain ridge. It's new view time. And now it is time to hunt for one of the things I'm looking for here. 
These are some wet lands. But I saw a red structure somewhere over here. And uh, it would be pretty nice if that was a hiking shelter to eat lunch in. So either that's a hiking shelter or that's someone's house. Meaning that I'm completely not where I think I am. And yeah. Anyways, we'll find out in a minute here. What are the chances this is actually open? Oh my god. A miracle. No fireplace, but it's good shelter from the wind and rain. You can have as much granola as you want, buddy. You deserve it. Time to get back out there. Got to see some vegetation different from any of the other hikes we've done in Boyaca. And that's because this is the highest altitude hike I've done in my time here. And as to whether the sign is accurate in saying this is the best hike in the world, probably not. But it is a pretty darn good one. And uh, we did get lucky with the weather. We got a bit of uh, kind of drizzle near the top there for a while and some wind and uh, some wet plants leading to wet feet. And uh, yeah, definitely the coldest hike I've done because of the altitude as well. But I would say it was worth it just because of the different look and the, again, the vegetation and uh, landscapes were different than uh, the other hikes that I've done in Boyacá so far, which I've enjoyed every single one of them. In fact, it's been a, a magical time in, in Boyacá. And if you've also enjoyed this time hiking the Paramo de Oseta here on Hum of the Earth, you can thank me by clicking the like button and or leaving a comment to let me know what you thought. Like I mentioned, uh, there are a lot more videos of Boyacá that I've made that you can find in the description uh, below this video. There's also a link to another playlist of the time that I bicycled through Colombia, which is part of a larger trip bicycling through Latin America. I've also bicycled through Eastern Africa and Central and Eastern Europe 
and I have playlists for all those countries that I've bicycled through available on this very same YouTube channel, Hum of the Earth. Alternatively, if you'd like to see an interactive map of everywhere that I went and everything that I got to see and do, I have that map available over on my website, followthehumoftheearth.com. where you can click on the different locations and see the various blog posts and videos that I've made of those places. And if you'd like to follow my continuing adventures through Colombia and beyond, you can do so by clicking on the red subscribe button and clicking on the bell to be notified when new videos come out. All right, so that's gonna do it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one.